Secretary for Department of Implementation and Rural Development, Aihi Vaki, says some provinces and districts have managed to furnish their reports while many are yet to provide as the country prepares for the upcoming national general elections. The grave concern is that when the current members of parliament lose the election and new MPs elected, then the question is who takes the total responsibility and accountability of SIP expenditure reports. When new MPs are sworn in, and in most cases, the administrators and finance managers are displaced, so as the SIP records. Vaki says this is one of the policy challenges in the five-year political cycle. He also highlighted that violating of the administrative guidelines and financial instruction by not complying to them as guidelines in management of these development funds as per the administrative guidelines under Section 4.5, which says disbursement of SAP funds shall be strictly upon the receipt of previous year's expenditure on physical implementation and progressive status and financial reports and availability of funds. It also stated that under Section 4.6 of the AG where SIP funds shall not be dispersed by DIRD to provinces, districts, allergies and wards unless the preceding year's reports are submitted, appraised and certified by SIP Interagency Clearance Committee. Political leaders who fail to comply with administrative guidelines and financial instructions for expenditure of the PSIP and DSIP funds shall be dealt with in accordance with the provisions of the Leadership Code. He further alluded that some provinces and districts face challenges in terms of logistics due to geographical isolation and remoteness. However, this should not be an excuse in implementing SIP.